Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Not again. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, no, bro. Not at the end, bro. Bro. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, YouTube? What's cooking? What's cracking? What's popping? It's your boy here, Desert Eagle Gaming. We are about to do some uh, World Series Manufacturer's Cup. So uh, let's dive right in. I think there's one more race left. The Norch life uh, by itself is really slippery. Add rain to that and it becomes a total ice rink. Let's put the traction control to 1. So official time we qualified in 10th. Okay, let's go. 5 rounds. I mean 5 laps. Around the Nürburgring. Under the rain. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be an interesting race. Super plumber. <laughs> I like your name, bro. Let's go, boys. Keep it clean for the love of God. Ah, uh, here we go. You guys started already bumping each other. For the love of God. Come on. We're not even 30 seconds into the Norch Lifer. Watch my inside here. I don't want to touch this dude. Heavy rain. Very heavy. Like it seems heavier than qualifying. Which is probably on purpose. So I actually did good by increasing my traction control to two instead of just one. Just to be safe, guys. This is my first Gran Turismo tournament. I don't want to leave a bad impression. Watch out, brother. Watch out. I'm on your left. Uh. Clean overtake there. So now we're moved up to 8th place. And another overtake. The brother lost control. And we are in 7th place, boys. You gotta be just patient. As you can see, they're trying to go as fast as possible, man. The race just started. It's 5 laps around the Nürburgring. 
you know it's gonna be a pretty long race let's just take it easy make some clean lines and slowly but surely you're gonna move up the grid Look at this retard. That's exactly what I mean. See, this is reckless driving right there. Like, the conditions are horrible and he's driving super aggressive. I guarantee you we're gonna find him somebody spinned out. We got a track cutter there. Thankfully, the game noticed it and reset him. Bit of spin there. I mean, a bit of slide, I mean. A bit of understeer. The boys here in the front are fighting for third place. That's my bad, bro. That's my bad. I mean, he... He braked right in front of me. I couldn't avoid him, but it's still my bad. I take full responsibility. Thankfully, he's still in the track. I didn't... I didn't bump him off track. So as long as he's still in the, on the track and ahead of me, there's no problem there. And I take full responsibility. But that's the dude who's playing reckless though. <laughs> so, in a way, he kind of deserved it. Man, he's sliding all over the place. I don't know if he's lagging or or the car is just too nervous. And look at that. I think it's the car. Very nice exit. Rain is starting to calm down. I think we're gonna do another lap and then fit in for different tires. We'll see how the track is. And by the way, we just moved up to fourth place. The fourth guy kind of spawned out of control for some reason. But the reason is actually simple. It's the Nordschleife under the, under the rain. It's very normal.
there's a huge fight behind me. I don't know if you noticed. Shot my inside here. And we moved out to third place. First lap still. That's because everybody's trying to go as fast as possible, but that's just a dumb strategy, man. I mean, just look at the moisture meter. It's more than halfway full which means it's still pretty wet and people are still going like it's dry just calm down take your time we still have four laps of the north Schleifer. anything can happen i dropped down to fourth place but it's okay it's still a big improvement from 10th place that's how i see it oh i didn't see you sorry and he's running for Porsche too. So technically he's my teammate. Oh. Wow, my god. I really thought I was gonna lose control to be honest. That was an excellent that was some very excellent uh, car control right there. I'm very proud of myself. I really thought I was going to lose control. And we're back in fourth place. It's lap number two. Track is still pretty wet, so it's we're gonna be still running on the on the wet uh, tires for now, and probably the next lap as well. So. My guess would be I'm gonna pit around lap number four for the interme uh, for the uh, uh, racing mediums, and just hope and cross my fingers that the uh, the track will be dry by then. If it's not, we're just gonna keep rolling on the wets because, as you can see, there is no wear on it on them. They, they're completely like new that's because the track is super wet and so we're not burning the uh, the, the uh, compound on the asphalt we got Tokyo here who just overtook me from the inside very nice maneuver bro so I'm back in fourth pl uh, fifth place now And we're back on the North Schleife. GP part of the track is done. And this is the fun part of the track. There's a bit of fighting here. Ahead of me, as you can see, for second place. And somebody's gonna get killed. For, I guarantee you. And we might even witness it because we're just so close to, this, uh, to the action. <laughs> oh, like I said, did. See? See? Now Tokyo is getting involved, there's some bumping, there's some side door-to-door -door action, door-to-door -door, uh, contact I mean. And about to take overtake Nacho. Let's go baby, let's go, push Porsche. I think the Dodge is faster in the straight line. Yeah, it's fast, he's going faster.
dude come on what are you doing man he was like literally like going so slow it made me lose two spots that's okay we're still in it Fifth place, boys. We're still pushing. Lap number two on the Nordschleife part of the track. We got to our two American brothers here in front of me. Ironically, driving. Uh, driving American cars, one in a Dodge, the other in a Chevrolet. Actually, the entire top five are Americans. I guess they can do more than turn left. You know what I mean. God damn you, asshole! Come on, turn! I can't fucking believe this, guys. It's ridiculous, man. Why do people do this? Why? It's a manufacturer's cup, bro. Come on. Like, like the devs of the game, the developers of the game might watch this because... He, oh my god, man. How, how is this even possible? Like, in a tournament. And they can't even run clean. I can't believe it, man. It's ridiculous. That's okay. I'm gonna end up I'm gonna end up catching up to them, you'll see. Because they don't because anybody who plays like that is the bad player. And is not fast. Like I said, see, I'm slowly catching up to them, every single one of them, because they suck.
right, let's bid in. We're gonna go for the medium compound. Seems to be pretty dry. And we're back in 10th place. Really, really, bro. Really, bro. North Slava in the dark, man, looks scary. <laughs> and we're not even on the North Slava yet. We're still on the GP part. Like dark as fudge. Alright, Mr. Horse, are you gonna let me through peacefully? I like your name, by the way, Horse. Very fitting for a racing game. Oh no, man. Just when I have the, like, the... The space, like the... Just when I have the occasion to overtake him, there's a red flag. I mean, a yellow flag. And I think I'm gonna take him here. I have the Ferrari right on my ass. And I'm slowly pulling away from him. So yeah, after all, the, uh, the pit stop was a good idea. The track is pretty dry. We have, uh, we have some nice grip on the medium compound tire. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, that's so wide. I'm gonna lose my place, most likely. Huh. No, I didn't. He probably spun. He probably spun out of control. Because I'm like now seven seconds ahead. Bro, look at this guy, man. Wow. Horse, you're playing like crap, man, bro. I hope you don't you don't drive like this in real life. Oh, uh oh, look at this guy. Goodbye. Thanks for the place. He's probably on the slicks, and he missed the uh, the the racing line. He got on the wet spot, on the wet part of the track. You really don't want to get on the wet track, on the wet tr wet part track, wet part of the track when you're on slick tires. Jesus Christ, that came out, that came out very hard. All right, Mr. Horse, I think it's about time you leave your place to me. Because 
I'm really close to overtaking you now. And I don't want to hit you. So you either give up. Or it's going to be a nasty move because the track is not fully dry. I say we still have two more laps, so, so far, so good. Let's just keep going like this for now, see what happens. I'm ahead of the eighth by almost 10 seconds, so the fight is between me and horse here in front of me for sixth place. And he knows it too. I know it. I think it's the only fight there is right now is among us for the sixth spot. Oh my god. I almost went out of uh, off track and Norch Lifa in the dark is really really treacherous Oh no, no, why, why, come on. That's okay. We're still in the game here. Actually, we caught on two. We've gone on horse here on sixth position, which is probably pissed. And I'm about to catch Marquez Jr from Brazil in his Ferrari and show them that the Germans are better than the Italians like I mean I love Ferrari but it's Porsche all day for me man I've always been a Porsche fan Why would you do such a maneuver, my man? You just healed yourself for no reason. Oh my god. <sighs> it's funny. It's funny at this point. It's just funny. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm about three seconds ahead of horse in seventh place. And the fifth place dude is about three seconds as well ahead of me so it's equally dis equally distributed or just in the words of thanos perfectly balanced as all things should be two more laps boys around the nord schleifer Holy crap, man. It's like, I, I don't see nothing, man. It's so dark. This is my first dynamic weather race and dynamic uh, 
dynamic time as well like it's the first time i do a race under the rain and a race in which the uh the time of day changes from well daylight to night time it's like super hard i have a lot more respect for professional drivers you know real life drivers and can you imagine doing this in real life like going 200 kilometers in the dark like this <laughs> My goodness. Oh. Bit of understeer there, but... It's salv salvageable. Hey, look at that. I have best sector by 15 seconds. How come? Hey, I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. Alright, last turn before the North Schleife section of the track. And still fast sector by 17 seconds. The only explanation is that everybody else was on either wet or intermediate tires while I was running uh, racing mediums. Horse is catching me. It's catching up on me. Fastest texture still by 23 seconds. Let's downshift. Get some revving in there. Yeah. Horse is gonna overtake me. Probably in this corner. Hopefully he's gonna make it clean. That section helped me create some distance between me and horse about two seconds because not gonna lie he was stressing me out he was right up my ass in a very technical section of the track so if he'd uh, if he'd have uh, made a move we could have died both of us oh 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 man a bit of understeer there a lot of understeer There's a big fight behind me between Grumpy, Grumpy and Horse. Grumpy is less than one second away from me. Let's see if he's gonna be able to make a move here. Nice, he didn't. 
He kept it safe. Jesus. I'm telling you, man, it's so difficult in the dark. It's a completely different different track. I know this track by heart, like like the back of my hand, but seeing it for the first time in the dark is <laughs> is a complete complete new uh, experience. We are still the fastest on the grid, which is very nice. We're almost through with lap 4 and we're gonna start our final lap of the race. If everything goes well and I finish 5th, I'd consider it a very nice race. Because I started 10th, finished 5th, I'm gonna be in the points. So I'm gonna be happy about that. Even though I missed a few events early on today. And I only participated in this one event. It's all good. It's the start of the season. I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna miss any event in the next race. I think it's uh, Spa in Spa de Francorchon in Belgium. I'm not sure. You can correct me in the chat. Final lap, boys. Let's hit it. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why? Like I wasn't even going past. Like why would it just understeer for no reason? Please explain. If you have any explanation, I would be happy to hear it. Maybe I wasn't in a gr in the grippiest part of the track. I'm all I'm all ears, boys. I'm still a newbie, so I'm happy to get any sort of criticism.
Wow. Okay. Okay, this one not so wow. Come on, baby, come on, push. I know I've been very quiet chat. I'm trying to concentrate on this final lap on the Nordschleife in the dark. But I think everything is gonna be fine. Because we're almost through with the lap. Let's say maybe about a minute to a minute and a half left. The leader has ended the race. And I'm about to embark on the final stretch of the track. Sorry about that. So here we are on the final stretch and then there's gonna be that triple chicane i think it goes like right now left right left and then a straight yeah and we're done so it's a very nice first experience doing the world series manufacturers cup representing porsche on the next round i'm gonna do many more events instead of just one like i did today oh no bro not at the end bro bro not like that bro not like that not like that man oh no man come on why would you hit me at the end of the track bro you're a bad player bro Okay, so the next round is in three days. Then it's gonna be Watkins Glen. 
long course in group four this time first experience was okay in the manufacturer's cup all right see you guys